everyone hope everything's going well you guys and gals know that drill smash that like button subscribe if you haven't comment down below follow me on instagram at aih underscore sports follow me on my finance channel at aih finance all right this was uh, a topic that we discussed on the live stream uh, living with lt this was actually a finding by steve splenda because splenda is a huge fan of Kevin Durant. He's a collector of Kevin Durant, and he's looking at a bunch of these cards. And here's the thing. Probstein, if you just look at how they operate, I, I'm not in agreement with them. They can do whatever they want. But if you list cards and you don't say that, hey, look, these are relisted, I think there's a relisted function where this could show that, hey, look, this wasn't, it looks like this wasn't paid for. And you usually would see, hey, this item has been relisted. But guess what? All right, let's just take a look at this before I answer the guess what. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10, 8.5. You can see 2016, 2017, Panini Flawless. And this sold for 2,171. Zero reviews. Okay. Now let's just make, see anything about this. Okay. So there's really not that much information about this individual here. Okay. Um, over here, this sold in February. Take a look at this. Eight point five. Once again, ten out of ten. This sold for eighteen oh two. Zero reviews. Okay, very interesting. All right, March twenty third, twenty three bids. Okay, um, this actually had zero reviews here. Second highest bid, but then the other one was seven bids or seven reviews. So two thousand. $247. It doesn't say this item has been relisted. Okay. So same, you could look at it. It's a BGS 85. It's a 10 out of 10 serial number matches ending at 9504. You could just take a look at this just to confirm ending at 9504. Or 5904. 5904. I'm sorry. And then you could see this April 10th. Good look at this. 2100, zero, right? So suppose this is a card that is not, or any other card. Suppose there's no comps in market movers or in card ladder or any other platform out there. You have to do the digging on your own. And then you may see, hey, look, uh, this card sold for $2,000 on eBay, right? But you're not looking at the bid history, right? Look at this again. This is in April. And let's take a look at here. Twenty. It sold at $2,100, okay? Same card, same serial number, just to, you know, check it out, what? It's a 10 out of 10, 5904. This practice, while it may not have any evil intention, the reality is the item doesn't show as, okay, right now the person could pay, but in previous auctions, it never said the item has been relisted. And that's actually a scary thought that people may use comps on eBay if they're doing what Probstein's doing and they're not showing this as a realistic item. And that's a bit scary, in my opinion. How many people, they don't relist the cards and the item shows that it hasn't been paid for. Red flag, red flag, red flag. So... 
Once again, if you are a KD pumper like my buddy Steve Splenda, you got to look at the comps. Not the comps. You got to look at the bid history. If you don't look at the bid history, good luck. I truly mean that. But anyways, guys and gals, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.